And have a look at that, guys. Using the glass and the clownfish, we have our very own aquarium in Minecraft. How cool does that look, guys? <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, EY Stream here, back with another video, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get a ton of secret items and building blocks in your very own Minecraft world. But before we get into that guys, you already know what time it is, it's LEGO time, make sure to go ahead, uh, drop a like down below, we're gonna try and reach 1000 likes on today's video, I don't know whether we can do it, I'm kind of losing faith in you guys, so don't let me down, drop a like down below, go absolutely crazy on it, make it go ba blue and um, yeah, that'd be much appreciated guys, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, and then go ahead and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to never, oh, I fell in the water, to never miss an upload guys, and of course, if I do it, the like on, I will be adding some lucky people to my Minecraft Pocket Edition realm. So if you guys want to be added to that, make sure to go ahead, like, and then leave your gamer tag in the comments section below. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now you may notice we are here at a village, and that's because to get these secret items and blocks um, to make your builds just like a hundred times better, guys. If you want to become a better builder, you need these blocks. Um, and that's because to get these special secret items and blocks, you are going to need to trade them with a very special villager. Now this village is extremely rare, and it's called the Builder Villager. So I've gone ahead and used a seed here where there are double villages, and I was... And I actually had to spend forever just going ahead and searching through villages. So if we come into first person here, if I come over, look at this guy. So when you come up to villages, right, you go trade, they have different things, right? Now, builder villages have very special blocks with them, and they're very, very rare and very hard to find. And if you see, I really couldn't find many at all, and I had to go through all these villages, and I was like... Does this even, like, can I even find a builder villager? I was, like, just baffled, guys. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to find one. But then I found one, and I was like, nah, you're not getting away. So I fenced him off in this little corner here, guys. And this is a builder villager. And yes, he does look just like a normal villager. And that's what makes him so hard and rare to find. But if you find one, make sure to put him in a fence just like I have here. Because it's very rare to find these again. One is the loneliest number that you ever now, if you guys want to go ahead and get your very own Builder Villages, you are going to need an add-on. So, I will have the add-on link for download in the description below. So, if you guys want to go ahead and get a ton of these secret items and building blocks, make sure to go ahead and download like that. The link will be in the description below. So, anyway, here is our Builder Villager. And let's go ahead and trade with him. And as you can see already, look at this. We have different items. So, as you can see, look at this. This is a retextured blue wool, and we actually have a bunch of different retextures for all the different types of wool here. Every single color you can go ahead and get from this guy, and he's retextured every single type of wool, which I don't know. It's pretty impressive if you ask me. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, so we get some retextured wool. Is there anything else? And yes, there's a ton of other items, including aquariums and stoves and cupboards you can get from these guys. But to go ahead and gain access to them, you're going to need to gain your trust with these building villages. So to go ahead and do that, you need to start trading with them and get a good relationship with them. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get some, some blue wool, I don't know, some purple wool, some pink wool, and some pink wool. And we're going to go ahead and just trade with our villager here for these different types of um, wool. So we'll go ahead, I'll trade for you here, and I'll just show you guys what these retextured wool looks like, because I think they look really, really cool. And if we go ahead, let's grab some of the purple wool here. Oh, we got the pink one, I think. No, that's... Is that the right one? I think so. I think, yeah, well, there we go. We'll grab some of that. We'll go ahead, um, we'll grab some, uh, we'll grab some of the purple wool, and then we'll go ahead and, I don't know, we'll is there any pink? Is there, is there pink? Is there pink? Yes, there is. We'll grab some of the pink ones here. There we go. So once you've traded for a bit, you go ahead and leave it. Just leave him for a bit there, and you'll start to see particles and a little bit of green friendship. This means his trust has grown for you. And firstly, before we go ahead and see what else he has to trade now, have a look at some of these epic retextured blocks that look really, really cool, and I think will really spruce up some of your building designs, guys. So here we have... Look at this guy. So here we go. Here's our normal blue wall, but these retextured blocks have like this checkered design where you have a light and a darker side, and I think they look really cool and could really, you know, spice up your builds. We go ahead, and this is pretty much the same kind of texture for all the different colors, just in obviously different colors, and as you can see there, um, they do change, and in comparison to the normal blocks, I think these blocks look way cooler to be honest. Have a look at that, guys. I think they just have, you know, a little bit more detail, which makes them just that much better to look at. Whoopsie daisies, the wrong color there. I just think they're just 
quite a bit nicer, and I really like them. I think it could be used for carpet designs and all types of stuff, and personally, I just think they're a lot nicer. So, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and see what new stuff our villager, our building villager has to offer. So, we go ahead, trade. All right, so we've got our normal wall here. But, if we go ahead a little further, we should be able to get some more stuff. Hopefully, I'm hoping to find some more stuff from this guy. Come on, hopefully. Or maybe... Ooh. This could be a little hard, though, guys. Because some villagers actually... Oops, sorry, man. I did not mean to hit you. Some building villagers actually won't offer you any more stuff. Which kind of sucks. Um, but, hopefully, we will be able to get some more stuff out of this guy. So, we'll just trade with him a little bit more. And see whether we can build our trust up with him enough that he's going to give us some more secret items. If not, there is another way you guys can go ahead and get these secret building items. Which I'm going to show you um, if we can't get enough trust from this guy. So we go ahead. Alright, we'll grab some of those blocks. There we go. Let's go ahead. Have a look at what some of these guys look like. Because I reckon these will look pretty cool. So we go ahead. Grab some of that. Grab some of that. Now hopefully, do we see particles? Yes, we do. That's definitely a sign. Hopefully our trust is building up just enough. We'll go ahead. That looks so cool. I love that if we put that against the normal one. Yeah, this one looks so much better, guys. And if we go ahead and get the black, that also... Oh, I really like that. That could be really cool for like a limo or like a secret service design. Like, oh, there's a ton of cool stuff you can do with that. All right, let's jump back over to our builder villager. Hopefully, he's got some more stuff to trade with us. Hopefully, please. Yes! Look at this, guys. You can now trade for different types of fences and look at this guys now you guys can spruce up your builds with different colored fences which i think is pretty cool as well so we'll go ahead let's grab an orange fence because that's pretty spunky let's go ahead we'll grab an orange fence and we'll grab a black fence just because those are our two walls in our inventory at the moment um where is the black one i cannot see the black fence is there a black fence i don't think there's a black fence oh i'm kind of disappointed i wanted a black fence let's go ahead grab some more wool here um just grab some, I'll grab some, ooh, what, what color haven't we done? We haven't done lime. I'll grab some lime wool. All right, so our trust has built up with again, him again. Let's go ahead and firstly, just kind of have a look at what this looks like. That's pretty cool, guys. Have a look at this. We have these really cool new different types of fence blocks, which are you can get in any color, which you guys just saw me trading with the villager there. And how cool is that? These look really, really cool and could be used to make a bunch of cool modern designs. And finally, you have more options than just the wood fences. So let's come over here. Um, I don't think... I think we have to trade with him twice to build the trust up enough to unlock some more stuff. So, um... Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Look at this, guys! Ready? We have some new stuff! Have a look at that. We have our aquarium, which we can now trade for, and a cupboard, and a wooden cupboard, and some smooth... Oh my gosh, we can trade for basalt. We can trade for these cupboards. Look at all this new stuff we can trade for, guys. We can trade for stoves, everything. Oh my gosh, that's so much stuff. I don't even... Oh, wow. Those look really cool. I can't wait to have a look at what these guys look like in-game. Let's go ahead, open up our inventory. Now, I think we're going to need quite a bit of... Quite a bit of quartz. I'll go ahead, give EY Stream quartz. So there we go. Quartz block. We'll go 64. Now I am, I believe I am going to. I think I saw some fish and some coal there, was some of the stuff I needed. So I'll grab some fish here. I need a clown fish, I believe. Let's have a look. Where are the clown fish hiding in this inventory? There they are. We'll go ahead. I believe we also needed some glass. And, um, I saw some coal in there as well. I'll probably need to jump back into my inventory again just to try kind of have a look at these things. But let's go ahead. Where is the coal? There it is. Let's start trading for some of these. Now, these are the really rare building blocks that, as I said, you needed to gain trust for to get access to these. So if we go ahead, jump down to the very end here, guys. All right, so first off, we have an, our, our aquarium. So we'll go ahead. We'll trade one glass and one clownfish. That'll give us our aquarium. Um, this here is a cupboard. We're gonna need redstone for that, so I can't trade for that. We need wood for that. Alright, we'll go ahead. We'll trade for some basalt, which is really, really cool. Um, we're going to need... Alright, yeah, we can trade for that. That's our glass cupboard. Now, this is some, uh, I believe that is a retextured... Ooh, that's an oven! We've got some polished diro, which we can grab some of that. That'll be really cool. We've got some basalt, um, some more... We've got some polished granite. So there's just all these different things you guys can trade from. And look at this. We even have retextured diorote, um, adenosite. Wait, I believe this is actually granite. And adenosite. No, wait. This is granite. I don't know. I think this is adenosite. I think this is diorite. But basically, guys, there's basically all these retextures for all these different blocks. And as you can see, it has that same checkered um, retexture just like the wool did. Let's have a look at some of these cool blocks, though, firstly. So we'll go ahead. We'll grab our aquarium. We'll grab our... Some of that, we'll grab some of this, we'll grab some of that, we'll grab that and that. Let's have a look at these brand new building blocks which you guys can build with. So first off, we have the aquarium, which looks really cool and this will be like a really nice decoration to build. 
Then we can go ahead. This is our polished basalt, and this looks super, super good. Like, this is really, really sexy. I love this design. I really, really like that, and that could be used for some epic builds. We also have um, some cupboards here. So as you can see, look at this. We've got nice cupboards with some glass doors here, and they will, um, and you can get them to face into each other, I believe. Have a look at that, guys. Look at these little cupboards there. They're really, really cool. Unfortunately, they don't work, but they do look really, really nice as far as design goes. And then for the ba uh, the basalt here, we can also get them in all the different quartz designs. So we can get them in pillars, and we can go ahead and get them in chiseled design as well. And I don't know about you guys, but I think these look super dope, and I love them. Now, of course, we could go on trading with this villager for all these secret um, items, of course, guys. But that's going to take a little bit of time, and I really want to show you all the different items. So there is also another way you guys can get them. Now, this is really rare, and I can't believe that this village seed has it. But occasionally, you will find a builder's house. And inside the builder's house is a chest. And inside the chest, have a look at this, guys. There is tons of different blocks for us to choose from. We have the aquarium from earlier. We have all the different cupboard designs. We can go ahead and grab some of those. We have all the different basalt designs. We already kind of saw those, so I'm not going to have a look at those again. But we did get the basalt ore. We got, um, we have the retextured different types of adenosite, granite, and, um... I believe, I can't remember the other one, Basalt, uh, Adenosite, Granite, and I can't remember. Um, and of course, you also get access to all these different fences, all the different colored fences. Now, the only thing you guys don't get access to is the different wool blocks, which is a little bit disappointing, but I don't know, because this is a much quicker and easier way to get access to all these secret blocks if you guys can actually find one of the builder's houses. I'm really lucky to have actually found this one, and I can't believe I did, but you guys can find these, or of course, what is more common, but still pretty rare is finding these builder um, these builder villages and if you do find one trust me you're going to want to keep him for later so we go ahead that is our redesigned uh, adenosite block there we have our redesigned dirote block there and I can't remember what this one is called but we have that one redesigned as well and they all have this really nice checkered design then we also have the um, the television which is pretty cool have a look at that guys that's our TV and then we go ahead, we have our cupboards from earlier. And of course, we also have a quartz television. So have a look at this, guys. You can get actual TVs in your Minecraft world, which is really, really cool. Unfortunately, they don't work. Once again, they are just for design. But I think they'll be really nice decorations in houses. And finally, guys, the ore, which you guys have to mine up. Now, you will actually be able to find this ore in the nether. And as you can see, it is a basalt ore. And it's got like this black instead of the quartz white. And that's what you're going to be able to use to make these really cool looking basalt blocks. Now, basically, guys, that's all the different secret items and blocks you guys can go ahead and get from these builder villages. I reckon it's pretty cool, guys. And um, if you guys want to do this, once again, the add-on link will be in the description below. But yeah, these, these blocks are just going to allow you guys to have tons more building options and design choices. I think it's really, really cool, so definitely worth checking out. But that kind of brings us to the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go ahead, drop a like down below, and um, subscribe for more epic Minecraft content. And until next time, guys, you are sure out. Ah!